Hey everybody, welcome back to Modern Survival. Since we last left off, no stream again, actually. I feel like we've done most of the setup here at home when it comes to the villagers, the auto crafting, the power. Although I do need to queue up some more windmills right now, so let me do that really quickly. It's very important we do this at the start of every episode, but that's sort of the stuff I was doing on the live streams. And so it just seems like we've got most of that. We've laid the groundwork and we're focusing now on the adventure stuff, which is what I like to reserve for the main channel episodes. Although I guess I could still try to farm wither skeleton skulls but even that seems kind of redundant for just doing it for a bunch of live streams. Unless I made a whole like spawner system, flattened out a whole fortress. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Windmills, are we good? We've got all 10. We'll hook them up. Let's get the cable. And I might actually need to expand the platform a little bit because, you know, this is definitely necessary to do. Oh, but actually, in the meantime, what I wanted to do is queue up my digital miner, which is somewhere here. Is it in the, it's in the, not in the system. Where did I put my digital miner last? Obviously, we've got one over in the mortem dimension, but that one has all the ores plugged into it. So if I do that down here, it's going to be a mess. Where did I put it? Oh, hey, how'd you end up there? Make sure to plus the like button and leave your input in the comment section or something. I, okay, anyway, um, this is fine. So what I wanna do is I wanna use this in order to mine some rupees because, and this is a bit of a throwback to earlier in the series with the very first boss, the Watcher, people were telling me you should get bedrock armor because it makes you blast resistant. And I was thinking that might be a good idea because what I want to do today actually is take a little detour from the Mortem dimension, the Twilight dimensions, and I wanna work towards getting to a new dimension called uh, the Dungeon of Arcana. And in order to do that, are there really that many rupees to, to mine? Plus, it's probably mostly redstone. Also, I'm out of power. Did I, I took the, the power out of there, but it's fine because I have a ultimate energy cube, right? That's half depleted, but that's totally fine. Um, maybe I should take the redstone off of here just so that we can focus entirely on the rupees, of which there are still a lot. So the Dungeon of Arcana, we need to get these blue gems that are dropped by a boss called the King of Scorchers. In order to summon the King of Scorchers, we need the Infernal Flame. In order to get the Infernal Flame, we need Purple Blades, which are dropped by the, the Scorchers, not the King of Scorchers, the Scorchers, which are in the Nether. But this boss, it spits out fire and does explosives. So I'm like, you know what? I think it's about time we focus on some new armor. We might as well. So the bedrock armor, it's actually got like Omega armor toughness, right? And it gives us fire and explosion protection, which is like perfect. We could even probably try fighting the Watcher again afterwards and see if we don't get absolutely kaboomed in two seconds by it. Um, in any case, this we should be able to make super quickly. We have all the resources here, but we just need to get those uh, purple blazes and then we should be good. Okay, we got a lot of rupees. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to need to maybe... You little frick! Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Apparently I haven't mined here before because there's like a lot of other stuff that's popping out. So each of these, let me see, we get three bedrock chunks per rupee block, which means we're gonna need eight rupee blocks, which is only 72 rupees, which is actually not that bad. Plus we need the obby. Do we have enough obby? Hopefully in here, if not, we can just vein mine pillars in the end, but we should be okay. So let's see, I don't think I have the rupees on auto smelt, no but that's a pretty easy fix right there. I wanna leave some, obviously, so that I can, you know, reset the config inside of the digital miner with item stack. Uh, and in the meantime, I guess while the digital miner is mining and we're doing all that stuff, we might actually have enough by now, but let me go, let me go put down those windmills. I think it's pretty important because otherwise we might run out of power because, you know, I don't know if this is enough. We might need a nuclear reactor at some point. All right, let's bring some more cable out here. We're good. We've almost got it. I wish I could get an exact measurement as to like how much RF per tick I'm generating here, but I bet it's a good amount. I wonder if we're actually exceeding the capacity of the cables and I need to make the ultimate power cables if I really wanted to take full advantage. I don't know. All right, let's make some of this bedrock armor. It looks like kind of a little dude who's, who's waving in his legs down there and then it's like an arm and then a waving arm and a head. Okay, let's get eight of these. It has a pretty simple crafting recipe actually. Um, and then 24, perfect. Now, hopefully we can just make the whole set and then enchant it with Prot 4, of which I should actually have the books, right? Oh, there we 
go, bro. And the armor toughness, I still like, not entirely sure of how the whole calculation system works for how armor toughness impacts, you know, damage reduction versus just the, can you kindly frick off? There's gonna be a creeper right outside. Like I'm being baited by the spider. It's trying to lure me out of the house so that it can tag a team with a creeper and then blow everything up. Oh yeah, by the way, did you notice that even though I didn't do a live stream in between episodes, I did make an effort to fix my front door. So, I hope you like that. You are being a little frick right now. I would just like you to know. Teleport somewhere else. God, there's a creeper. There is a creeper that just came out of the woodworks at the last second. Did you see that? You ain't fooling anyone. I know you're down there. We will not have a repeat. Wait, did I use? I think I actually used all my prop books. I'm doing great. I'm doing great out here. But this th this is why this is why we have our boy here with uh, one emerald prop fours for exactly this reason, so that we can just get it all set plus Mendy's and be good to go. One, two, three, four. I don't know if I need unbreaking three or not. I feel like bedrock armor should be unbreakable, but I don't know if it actually is the case. But you know, mending over unbreaky three is probably fine unless I'm getting absolutely decimated by a boss. Gizmo, I, this is amazing that you will just let me do this without having to worry about my anvil breaking. Am I gonna have the levels to be able to do this? I might have to do some more villager trades, but this is fine. Okay. I don't know why it has like multi anvil sounds when this is going on, but anyway, okay, let's see. Mendy is three. Oh, this is, yeah, we've got enough for this. Perfect. I know that it would be better if I wanted to add a breaking three for me to combine that with the mending as well, but eh. We're good. we're good, it's bedrock. It should be incredible. Although without the melee damage reduction, I don't actually know like how crazy powerful it's gonna be, but it's worth a, it's worth a test, I suppose. Hey, let's go test it. There's a, there's an angry spider outside, hey man. You wanna help me test my armor really quick? Anybody, anybody you wanna help with that? How many rupees have we got, by the way? Another stack. Okay, got some red, so not too bad, not too bad. I'll try to remember that that thing somehow ended up inside of my backpack power slot, no. No, we don't. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, good idea. Uh, maybe good idea. I want to. I want to get him to explode, but I also don't want to just like destroy the ground over here. First off, let me let the spider attack. I mean, that's actually pretty good. I am taking barely any damage at all. What's the? Oh, 4,000 durability. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Bedrock armor may have been the play all the way long. Okay, I actually kind of just want the creeper to explode on me though. Where's he at? Yo, come over here. Come over here. Where you at? Did he despawn? Oh, he despawned. He saw the spider trying to attack me and he's like, oh, oh, no, wait, there he is. Hey, come on. Come here, buddy. Hello. He's really thinking about this. Like, I guess it's in my nature. I guess I'll follow you. Uh, if I explode here and die, it's going to be very embarrassing. Please, no, a little, for, little, little further. Zilch, nada, nothing. Oh my God, this is actually epic. Okay. Cool. You guys want me to test this against an advanced Cory? I promised I would never go back into that dimension. But now my curiosity may be getting the better of me. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I just want, I'm gonna patch that up. It's kinda, it's kinda icky having that over there. I'm gonna end up just like destroy, oh wait, actually no, I got, I'm fully mended back up. Okay, it, this is pretty ugly though. This is pretty ugly. Let's just patch it up to where a zombie will end up having the ability to spawn underneath. Uh, it's always the best way to do it. There's a big old crater right there, bro. And we just tanked it like it was nothing. I think I'm actually gonna be more upset if it does tank the damage because it means that the entirety of last episode, I could have avoided all of the garbage that I had to deal with. Wait, yeah, this is actually like, this is tanking damage so much better than the rupee, despite the fact that the rupee is supposed to reduce melee by 85% or something. All right, where are they at? Come here, let's go to another place. Maybe if we head back to our favorite Skythern main altar, we'll find an advanced Cory. You little frick. What is this sound that I am hearing right now? It's horrifying. Don't like that sound. It's a really bad sound. Oh God, I don't like that at all. Look at all the death markers. Oh my God, bro. Bro, they don't exist. They actually don't exist. I'm fairly certain that I've scared them away somehow. There are none. All the advanced quarries have disappeared somehow. Huh, how are we doing here? Oh, hey. Okay. <laughs> Worth a try, right? Oh God, I hope I didn't screw myself over. Oh God, uh, is that guy was pretty close to the ground. And it seems like when they're close to the ground, they've, they've got a, oh God, I'm actually a little bit worried. I've done myself really dirty here. Eee! Go! 
I'm gonna leave now. I'm never coming back again. Never again. And, uh, di but di different, oh, God, uh, Skythern portal. Ooh, uh, God. I need to organize my waystone arrangement. Anyway, okay, cool, we're good. Uh, let's put my backpack back on. Hey, at least the uh, durability is is freaking omega on these things. Yeah, at least at least we got that. Uh, I should actually just clear you and then unsilk touch you and then hopefully it stacks. Yes, cool, great, awesome. Deep breaths, everybody. Deep breaths. Okay, so it's time to go into the uh, the Nether and find some of the Scorcher dudes, which again I think are more common to find in the vanilla biomes. So I think we kind of want to head back to the Soul Sand Valley that we were using in order to hunt the shooty shooty bow dudes and hope that we can find some of the purple dude bros. Um, and that'll be, that'll be the way. Hello everybody, I return. Please tell me there are some purple dude bros around here. Uh, it's not looking great. That's purple on the portal. Um, it's okay. We'll just wait around a bit and eventually I'm sure that they will spawn also. I suppose I could kind of do this, right? Soul Sand Valley. I don't know why I didn't waste on this before, but then maybe I could leave, right? Go to Nether Portal and then come back and we'll probably look the same, but let's, is the Enderman still here? Huh, maybe not. Maybe it will work. Oh yeah, wait, there's some dude bros over there. I might be able to just like swap this a whole bunch of times and then eventually we'll get some uh, purple dude spawning or something. Actually, no, that's not gonna work, is it? Because if it did, I wouldn't have been killed 5,000 times last episode by the advanced quarries that weren't despawning, even though I was going through a bunch of waste stones. All right, we'll find them eventually. Oh, hello, mates. How we doing? How we doing? Oh, wait, I'm wearing my elytra? Hold on, hold on. I just wanna, I wanna tank some hits. I just wanna see what happens here. Try and hit me, try and hit me, bro. Where were you aiming? That was pretty poor aim, if you ask me. Let's try again. I'm gonna get closer. I'm gonna make it easier for you. Oh, that doesn't seem to do a great deal. Okay, so you're gonna be nice and drop your stuff into fire. Okay, I'm gonna need you to not. Good. Drop your stuff into fire. Thank oh, three of them. Oh, dude, okay. This is like, we actually only need to find uh, like two more, assuming that we get those loot drops. Oh, it's been 84 years. Oh, but of course he's next to one of the shooty dude bros. Okay, hold up, I got this, I got this. Actually, on the last one, I realized right after the fact, I forgot to switch off of my Elytra, which could have been very bad news. Uh, so, because I didn't have the set bonus and I was being very cocky. I'm gonna, here, hold on, I'm gonna try to get, no, I don't wanna get the Scorcher, I just wanna get the big mans over here. Oh, he done. Uh, all right, all right, here's the deal. I, I go down here and then wait, ow! Freaking Feylines just launching me, bro. Jeez. All right, give me some good drops here and do not, do not land, you're, no, you're so dumb. Don't do it into fire, okay. <laughs> They're more of a hazard to themselves than I am. Oh, four, are you kidding me right now? We got ourselves a man's. Come here, bud. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, no fire, no fire, no fire. Oh, God. This armor is sick. But also, you need to... Oh, come on, how many was that? Oh, just one more. That was huge. All right, it seems like maybe maximum of three. Um, but anyway, just one more, because then we get the uh, infernal... Yep, just need eight of them. This thing we can... Yep, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, this is gonna be sick. This entire time I keep getting juked out by the Lapis and the Obsidian over there, but I do think we've found our final target. Come here, buddy, come here. Actually, you know what, I can probably tank that, yep. I don't take fall damage, I probably do actually because I don't have feather falling. Come here, come here, come here, and around, around juke. Do not go into fire! You're kidding me, you're kidding me. He didn't drop it? I would get to seven and then have this happen, I would. I would. Yeah, there's like a whole other area of Soul Sand Valley over here that I was kind of missing out on. So yeah, please, please, please do not land in fire. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're God, we're good. We're God, we are God in this armor. I mean, let's be, let's be honest here. Okay, perfect, awesome. I'm gonna remember for once to actually use the teleportation star rather than going back to my waystone because why would I bother doing that? Whew. All right, ready to make you. I think I just have to do that. And then boom, Inferno Sword, perfect. And then this. I feel like we might as well just head back to the Soul Sand Valley in order to fight him. Yeah, 
I don't think it's going to be terribly difficult with the armor. So on the Divine RPG wiki page, it says the King of Scorchers is a very easy boss. So I don't know if they're just downplaying it. Maybe like they'd say an advanced Cory is a very easy mob, uh, but we are going in with some pretty good armor. So I don't know. Let's just spawn him over here and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, he's just a small man's. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait. Why did I take damage there? I'm supposed to have full blast resistance and stuff. What the heck? Okay, well, that's... You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. You can't be damaging me. Also, you're just a tiny, tiny little thing, dude. I mean, it is helpful that I'm not taking fire damage, though. I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the play. There was something about, though, the, like, the, the projectiles turning into bombs or something like that. I don't know if I'm just being laden with bombs right now and he's gonna flip the switch any moment. Nope. Wait. No! Oh, that might be a bomb! So anyway, I did some off-camera work, and now we're ready to fight him again. <laughs> you will not summon another bomb. I will not hesitate. I was kind of feeling bad last time, but not this time. I swear to God, if he throws another bomb down, if he throws another bomb down, I am not... Wait, he threw a bomb down. He threw a bomb down. He threw a bomb down. There's a bomb right behind. I see the bomb. Wait, is that a bomb? It looks like the bomb. Maybe that's just the projectile. It's hard to tell, and I'm terrified. I'm just need to get the stuff get the stuff i got the stuff oh, okay arcana portal right all we need is two of the blue fire stones and it makes the entirety of the arcana portal so fairly straightforward just yeah the blue fire stones i guess you can get them from the watcher too but it seems like he only drops one i didn't want to have to do like two more watchers but maybe that would have been a better idea at this point i honestly don't know um <laughs> but that saga is concluded now now that I think about it, there's only two more dimensions we have to build portals to. One is the Arcana, which we're about to do, and the other is the Vethia, which isn't actually a portal, it's like a, a bed. I think it's called the Nightmare Bed. But that means I could, in theory, end cap this hallway, maybe, so it doesn't just open up into a, a busted cave. Want to do a little building? A little quick building with the building gadget? Yeah, 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 let me grab some stuff. Should be pretty easy. There we go. Okay, perfect. And then a little bit of that. And then all we got to do is drop some of these down on the ceiling. I might have actually overmade some of the materials that we need. Let's see how quickly I can speed run mass production. I'm also going to have to... It's fine. I will, uh, I'll, I'll uncover the portal afterwards, even though it's slightly hidden. There we go. Perfect. And then, oh yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of floor space right there. Oh yeah, but the floor space is going to be, I didn't set up the, uh, I didn't set up the portal area for this, did I? Just kind of, uh, it's my bad, but I'll make it better or so I'll, I'll go in there. I just don't want to go in there. I said that I wasn't going to do it, and now and now I have to go back in again, and I really I dislike that tremendously. It's it's not what I was looking to do. Spend my time going back in there again. S please don't make me do it. And then... Perfect! Okay, and then all we have is... Uh, oh god, the lanterns are probably going to be like off on the uh, on the distance between the wall. And how many blocks is this? It's, it's two blocks to the first one. Oh god, is it going to line up perfectly or is it going to suck? It's on the end, but it's fine. So the bed, I don't know, we can stick the bed to go to Vethia somewhere over there. But for now, I feel like the putting the Arcana portal kind of over here might look nice. Let's make the dungeon of Arcana portal. And let me see, Arcana portal frame, gonna need some blocks of iron, and... Alright, here we go, I don't know if I have to illuminate it with something. Let's leave a gap from the wall, and then... It's kind of slightly interfering with, with that, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. We made this... Sounds like the end. Looks end-ish with it being horizontal, but uh, there we go. Let there be light. Oh, alright, I mean basically ready to go in there. Let me clean up my inventory. Do, you, do I really need to... Are you gonna force me? Yeah. Are you gonna force me to go into Mortem and... You know what, actually, no. What am I thinking? That's Mortem. It's more... I, I don't have to worry. No, this is... This is free. I've already done Skythern. There's no problem going into Mortem. This is fine. Okay, yeah. Let me go in here. I'm gonna finish the aesthetics around this, which is gonna look almost identical to Skythern, because it's all grayscale. Uh, but then we don't have to feel like we're missing something before we go into here, although I don't know how we're gonna... Maybe we'll decorate with uh, Arcana-related stuff back here on the back wall, and that'll be kind of how we have this one blend in or something like... I don't know, dude. I don't know. It looks exactly the same. It really does look exactly the same as the Skythern blocks, doesn't it? Who's shooting at me? Is my bedrock armor just, like, so strong that I'm taking no damage? 
I mean, I am pretty strong here, to be fair. So, get poopied on. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, actually, it's being kind of annoying, I'm gonna be honest with you. Also, yeah, we got a lot of Mortem Fragments. I think I, I just used those in order to make the really good Mortem gear, so it may be worth an upgrade on my sword or something like that. What is that horrible, horrifying sound? It's terrible. I think we got stuff. Oh, wait, was there a, there was a thing down here. Oh, but that's just, that's just the leaves and the logs, so. I don't know, I'm sure the altar has some new blocks, like the lanterns and whatnot, which we'll have to find at some point. Let me grab this stuff, just, you know, in case we can put it to use here for making some good new armor. And now let me clean things up. Oh, wait, is that litter? It's literally just Twilight Stone. Okay, and I assume the Mortem Grass is going to look, it's gonna look identical, right? To the Skythern, maybe just like slightly grayer. Eh, just a little bit grayer. Okay, well, this is, this is fine. You know what, at least we got some cool red accents that match the portal color here. So, it's not all bad. Other than the part where I have to like go around here in order to put that in, but that's good. I'm not, I don't want to accidentally fall in. There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, this is reserved for a lantern that we'll definitely find when we run into the altar, probably. Looks kind of cool. It's like very ominous having that end portal style portal at the end of the hallway. I have to put the Scorcher statue down. I don't know where to put this now. I'm running out of space. Maybe over here. Perfect. What a big boy. Okay, it's time. We gotta go. We gotta go check out. Let's do Arcana before we do like Mortem boss fights. It is Mortem loot that we need in order to go to the Vethia. So, and the Vethia is kind of the last step, the finale, if you will. And I'm thinking like once we fight the big bosses in the Vethia, that's probably our ultimate goal with the series. But for now, let's check out what we got in here. I think this is more of a unique one. Like it's not an open dimension. I think it's all, yeah, it's all like within this sort of, dungeony area and I think our best friend is going to be the teleportation star here because it'll let us kind of um you know go back home more easily and what I can do is I can place down the oh my god it's going to be so much better now though being able to do this having waystones I can put the waystone down where I've left off because it's not I don't think it's like super easy to yeah it's not super easy to explore this place by just you know charging through walls Kind of got to navigate, so I can, you know, place the waystone down, head back home with the teleportation star, and then I'll be able to make a new one. Anyway, ancient brick door. Do I need like a key or something? Anyway, I feel like on that little cliffhanger right there, as we just jumped in here, uh, we should probably leave off the episode. So stay tuned for us diving into the dungeon of Arcana and seeing what it has. Make sure to like the video. Sub to the channel, stay tuned for uh, the final episodes in the series, and check the playlist if you've missed any so far. So that's it, I'll see you next time.